Well, as I see it, this is about the empowerment of women, whether it's women in key leadership roles throughout the NHS, which we are seeing in the region today, or whether it's focusing on women's particular health needs as they express them, not as we tell them uh, that they're feeling. And that's about making sure that the services are tailored to their needs, whether it's dealing with the menopause or sexual health or childbirth and maternity, or whether it's tailoring the services so that they properly listen to women and take their views into account in the way those services are designed and delivered and the choices that they have and the options that they have in the nature of the care that they receive. All of those things are important and taken together, they're a way of empowering women. And also in my role as an advisor to the World Health Organization, I've seen women in some of the poorest countries of the world in very difficult situations, often with conflict and hostility towards them, working in environments where they bring great courage. And those are a great inspiration to me as I hear those women's stories and see how successful they are. And their work, their works, because very often on things like vaccination, they're talking mother to mother. And so they're very powerful in the role of providers of healthcare in a community and even more courageous because they're often overcoming a great deal of resistance about women working in some cultures.